But what will be the third largest sports complex in the entire world is set to open in Hamilton next year, but the developers now say part of it will be delayed. Local 12's Christian Hauser shows us why it's being delayed and also some reaction from local leaders in that community and business owners. Construction crews are busy working on the massive Spooky Nook project, but the indoor sports complex portion won't be open in March like it was expected to be. Several factors are to blame, from the pandemic and supply chain issues to wind damage. Greater Hamilton Chamber of Commerce President Dan Bates says he doesn't think the delay will have much of an impact on the project or the businesses depending on it. I personally think the delay is going to be slight. You know, so when you're talking about a, a project of this magnitude, you know, $150 million project with a million two square feet, um, and, you know, part of it is going to be delayed, not the entire thing. And I think that's what people are, are forgetting is the hospitality piece is, is pretty much on schedule. Petals and Wicks owner Sherry Hoskins plans to open a second location in the complex when it's finished. She says she wasn't too surprised to hear about the delay. If you own a business, there's just a supply and demand problem. Um, and so you just take it with a grain of salt. You know, we, it's, it'll work out a year from now. We'll be all open and Spooky Nook will be um, very active and we will and all the other businesses here in town. And, you know, it'll be a very hopping area. So, you know, we really are not concerned about the delay at all. I'll be back at 530 with more on the project and what the company has to say about the delay and a possibility of when the sports complex portion could be completed. In Hamilton, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. If you want to find more about the project and everything that's included, just go to local12.com and click on the Spooky Nook article. It'll have our previous reports as well as details on that project for you.